Hi friends, in today's video I'll be continuing to spring clean plus add some Easter touches throughout my house. If you need some motivation to start or continue your spring cleaning and need some Easter decor ideas for your home, then just keep watching. Now that I have this hall table wiped down and a great spring scent going in my Scentsy, let's move into my bedroom. I'm going to start like I always do. I love to open up the curtains in my bedroom, no matter what the weather is outside. If it's raining, if it's sun shining, if it's cloudy, today it happens to be sun shining, so that's awesome. So I'm going to open up my curtains, open up the blinds, get some sun coming in, and get my bed made. Let me know in the comment section, are you someone that must make your bed every single day? or? Are you someone like me? I might, might make my bed a couple times a week. I try to make it on the weekends more than I do during the week, but during the week I just tend to just pull the sheets back and I call it kind of airing out my sheets. I tend to do that more than more than I do making my bed every day. I work a full-time job, so making that bed every day is just not very important to me. But I know to some people, they must make their bed the moment they get out of it. Wishing for the kind of love you see in magazines. The illusion falls and nothing's what it seems to be. The part left is hurting deep inside of me. Heard a whisper, someone saw you at a bar. Was it the same night you had trouble with your car? What's been broken? This ain't the first time I'll be drinking you off my mind. I wanted to add some yellow to my bedroom for spring, so I picked up these two pretty textured yellow and white pillows from Target. I believe adding throw pillows to your bed can just really spruce up your room really quickly and easy without spending too much money. I just love adding throw pillows to my bed for the different seasons. And then you'll see that I have the cutest little bunny pillow that I picked up from the dollar spot at Target a few years ago, and that'll just complete the look of my bed. What's been broken? This ain't the first time I'll be drinking you off my mind. Love is gone, and there's no road leading us back home. This ain't the first time, but it's the last time. Now let's move over to this black dresser that I have a love-hate relationship with. It's gorgeous, but it is always dusty. I'll take my dusting cloth and just wipe it down really well. And then I'm gonna take a second and change the decor that's on top of this dresser. I actually like the way the dresser looks now. I love that, what the decor that I have. However, I did pick up some Easter stuff. So I'm gonna change out my sign to this Let's Stay Home sign. And then I've got some adorable bunnies that I picked up from TJ Maxx. I thought the silver in their ears tied in well with the gray in the sign. Then I'll get the house smelling good by lighting a candle. We'll do some vacuuming and then we'll move into the front of the house.
The blackbird inside your chest that calls on you to cry. You decided it was time for him to fly. Out of the darkness and into the light. Higher and higher, out of sight. This is my fourth spring cleaning video to do this season. So if you're in need after watching this video of even more spring cleaning motivation, head over to my channel and check out those three videos. And if you've been cleaning along with me, I'd love for you to leave me a comment in the comment section. Y'all, can y'all see all of that dirt right there on my closet door? Oh my goodness, I didn't notice that when I was cleaning the bedroom. However, I certainly noticed it when I was editing. So that was a chore that I put on my spring cleaning list to clean the inside and the outside of all my doors that are in my bedroom. It's funny how we get so focused on cleaning sometimes that we do overlook some dirty areas and I definitely overlooked that area. I've got my little helper to help me spray the room spray in the bedroom to finish it off and then we're going to head into the front of the house and we're going to work on the kitchen. I want to give you guys just a quick overview of the dirty messy kitchen. Not too bad we had the grandbaby last night so I really didn't pick up after myself before we went to bed. I picked up a few things from Target. Guys look at this beautiful new white pitcher I got. So excited for that. Sorry, there's shadows over here. I need to turn these lots on. That kind of helps. If you've never seen these undercounter lots from Amazon, they're very inexpensive and I just love them. So that helps a whole lot with your filming. Anyway, so dirt, lots of dirty dishes. I made eggs this morning. So let me get in here and get the sink cleaned out real good, get the cabinet swapped off, and then let's get some Easter decor out. Now that I've got all the dishes gathered up, let's get all the dirty dishes into the dishwasher and get that going. I normally run the dishwasher at night time, however, since we had the grandbaby, I didn't take the time to clean the kitchen last night, so we'll just get that done now. Then our dishwasher can be running and cleaning the dishes while I'm cleaning the house. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello, my name is Robin and I'm so happy that you're here. If you're a cleaning video fanatic like I was before I started my YouTube channel, I'd love for you to take a second and hit that red subscribe button below and join our YouTube family that we have here. Um, in March, I've had this channel for about a year and I like to run my channel kind of toward the way I liked the video, what videos I liked when I actually watched YouTube cleaning videos because I watched them for about a year and I knew this was something that I really wanted to do but was kind of scared to start my channel. And of course, with the support from my family and from my daughter, she helped me, helped me post my first video. Um, I have just been loving this. I work full time, so it's kind of hard, but I really enjoy putting videos out for the public to watch, and I have the best subscribers ever. It still amazes me that I have so many subscribers that come back every week and comment and watch my videos all the way through and support me. I'm just really loving this platform. 
Also, if you have an Instagram account, and um, that is just a great way for us to get to know each other. I'm, I try to stay active over there as much as I can. It's easier sometimes to post on Instagram than it is to do a video and upload it onto YouTube. So if you do subscribe to my channel today, I would love for you to leave me a comment in the comment section. And I would also love for you to go over to Instagram and follow me at Robin Lane Low. I'll leave that here on the screen. Here I'm just showing you the Mrs. Myers All Purpose Cleaner in the lavender scent. I picked this up at Target and I thought that scent would be a perfect spring smell and that's what I'll be wiping down all the countertops with today. Now that I've got the bar area cleaned off, let's add some Easter cookies to my cake stand. If you've been around my channel for any length of time now, you know that I'm always looking for small things that bring me joy. And keeping goodies inside this cake stand for my family is definitely something that brings me joy. We have a local bakery in town that always has the cutest seasonal cookies. And they're not just cute, they are delicious. Late night, flickering lights, loud crowds on the street as I walk by. There's a fight, sirens drive by, someone singing about the heartaches of her life. Outside a bar, a woman is waiting for a man to end his shift and take her home. I see a star slowly fading by a table where it's drink. Okay, let me show you real fast a few items I picked up from my little coffee bar area over here that I just love to decorate for the different seasons. Pretty much everything came from Hobby Lobby or the Target Dollar Spot. Um, let's see here. I already had this little sugar bowl and this little white jar. I'm going to try to put some eggs in that. So pretty much everything, let's see here, was like $2.99 or above. These little carrots were $2.99. Got this cute little Hello Spring sign. He has risen because we all know Jesus rose three days after they put him in the tomb. So that's the true meaning of Easter. So let's get to decorating my coffee bar area. I'm really excited. You know, guys, you guys know I love a banner. And look at this cute little banner with the little carrots. So we'll get that put up and see what we can do.
Isn't this banner just adorable? I picked it up from the Target dollar spot and I just love it. I love adding a banner to the back of the area of the coffee pot. I think it adds a cute little touch. Now let's get to decorating our two-tiered tray, which I also picked up from the Target dollar spot a few months back. I was so happy to find it. Uh, I think it was $5 and I have so enjoyed it here in this coffee area. Now I'm just gonna add some decorations here on the top. I've watched a lot of decoration videos where they're decorating their two-tiered trays and still when I come to, to do one or when I start to do one, I just get like overwhelmed. So here I'm just, I have no rhyme or reason to how I'm decorating, but I am trying to put my big items in the back and my big items first and then kind of work around your big items. So that's a little bit of advice that I can give you, but here I've got the cutest little Easter cups that I found at TJ Maxx for my coffee to go, or if I've got a guest that wants to take maybe some coffee with them. Then I've got these cute little carrot napkins to go with the cups. I've already had this cute little green sugar bowl, so I thought it really added a nice touch here on the tray. And of course, to end it off and to complete the look with that cute little egg tree. Now here's the final look. I think it's very simple, but I really love it. I think it's super duper cute. Tell me in the comments if you have plans to decorate your coffee bar area for Easter. Here I'll clean this corner glass cabinet with some spray away and a paper towel and then I'll add a gorgeous pink tulip vase that I found at TJ Maxx. I thought it was perfect in this corner. It really gave it a pop of color here. And here I'm just going to replace this pitcher with the greenery with this sweet little white pitcher with purple hydrangeas that I picked up from TJ Maxx. I thought it went so well with this sweet little purple bunny that I picked up last year from the Dollar General. And also that happy spring kitchen towel, I just left that there because I thought those three items went really well together. And here I'm just showing you this tall, beautiful white pitcher that I picked up from Target. And yes, I'm admitting right now on film that I have an obsession with white pictures. Also, I've got some florals here. They both came from Hobby Lobby and I wasn't real sure which one I wanted to add to the picture. So I've tried them both out. I kind of want to see you guys to see the behind the scenes. Sometimes us YouTubers make everything look so easy. However, behind the scenes, it takes us quite a bit of time to get some things just right. So I'll try this floral out first and then I'll go with these more tall florals because this picture is pretty tall. I was going to add this to the left of my kitchen sink. My friend Jeannie, her channel is Cleaning Therapy. She has, I believe, the same picture to the left of her sink and she always has florals in it and it's so pretty. However, I really liked it up here on top of the refrigerator. I thought I needed some height here. So if you can see there, I tried the first ones, the tall florals first, and I really didn't like it. So I ended up going with this floral. However, I thought it needed to stand a little higher in the picture. So I just took some plastic target bags and stuck them down into that picture picture to kind of make the florals sit higher up in in it let me know in the comment section if you would have gone with the other florals or if you would have gone with the ones that i actually used I kept it very simple in this area with just adding this cute little mini egg wreath to my marble cutting boards. I had originally planned to add some Easter decor to this two-tiered tray. However, after adding this egg wreath, egg wreath, I just didn't think it needed anything else in this area. I try to keep these vignettes pretty simple so you guys can easily recreate them with home decor that you already have. Sweet 
Now let's move into the dining room. And one of the areas that I really needed, needed to tackle today was this window. Guys, look at all this yuckiness. This window pretty much looks like this 24 seven. It's right by the back door. So when the door opens at night, all the bugs rush in. And then they all tend to just congregate here in this window. It is a constant struggle to keep it bug and spider web free. Okay, I'm gonna start by using this duster and I'll get all the spider webs and the bugs out with this duster and then I'll use my long duster to get the top corners good and clean. Then I'll spray the windows down with my wonderful spray away and with some paper towels. And as I'm cleaning this window, I see that the outside glass is just as dirty as the inside. So after I get the inside good and clean, I'll go outside and to get that glass wiped down outside. Summer begins and getting cool in the summer heat with you, my sweet. Sitting in the back of your car, wishing for this road to take us far. Now I Now that we have the dining room window good and clean, let's move into the hallway. I'm going to take this dusting cloth and wipe off this mirror really well. And then I'm going to add this beautiful lavender spring wreath to add a pop of color in my hallway. up this wooden peg rack to go here between the space between the front door and the buffet. Ever since I painted my kitchen, I really needed something to make this area look a little bit better. I recently had just a picture there and I really wasn't happy with it. So when I saw this peg, wooden peg board, not real sure the name of it, on the house and home website, I knew this was going to be perfect for this area. So I'm going to hang it here. I'm going to put this cute little mini lavender wreath on here and this hanging basket with these really pretty white hydrangeas that I got from the Dollar General store. They were two dollars a piece and they look really really good in this basket. Driving this like a spiritual cleanse where every mile is a new beginning and every friend holds a new end. All right, so now let's move into the living room. I pretty much locked all the decor that I already had here on my coffee table. However, in order to fit in these rabbits that I picked up and this cute little tray that I bought, I needed to kind of rearrange the decor to make those fit here on the coffee table. I'm not gonna add a lot of Easter decor in my living room. I pretty much have it decorated for spring. I mainly just wanted a few touches of Easter in here. So you'll see me put these rabbits in this rabbit tray here on my coffee table. And then over on the side table, I'll put some beautiful white tulips, which I think are perfect for Easter. And that's pretty much all that I do in my living room. Day. 
All right, now that I've got this area good and dusted off, I'm going to take this Daily Wood for Good Cleaner in the Almond Scent. This is just one of my very favorite products. If you've never tried this before, it's the Almond Scent smells so, so good. You must try this product. Now I'm going to take this runner. I've had this runner for several years. I actually got it at Bad Bath & Beyond. I think it's just a great spring runner. I tried to do it just halfway or fold it halfway over, but it didn't look very good there, so I'm going to do it the long way. And here is my last white picture, I promise, that I'm going to use to decorate with. I got this off of Amazon along with these beautiful white tulips. I love to follow Amy Fritz. She has a YouTube cleaning channel and she does a lot of decorating in her home. And she had had these two products on her Amazon uh, kind of like an Amazon link where you can go in and see her favorite items and these tulips were just beautiful So I picked these up to go here on the table as you walk in my den And I thought it's going to look really good and brighten up that area. Aren't they just gorgeous? And here's the last item I'm going to add to this table. I picked this candle up at Target. I think it's just beautiful. I just love the wood top on it. And here's the final look of this area. I think these tulips just look gorgeous here as you walk into the living room. And for my last Easter touches, I'm going to add this oh-so-cute kitchen towel with these sweet little bunnies on it and a cute little bunny pillow. I believe I got this bunny pillow at TJ Maxx. I can't really remember because you know, I cut all the tags off of all of my stuff. I do not like tags. But I'm going to add this kitchen towel and this bunny pillow right here to the chair, and that'll just complete my Easter look. I had so much fun filming this video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you liked this style of video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up that helps out my channel so so much if you're still watching my video thank you so very much for watching it all the way through don't forget to share with your friends and family if you're a new subscriber leave me a comment in the comment section so that we can talk don't forget to go over to instagram and follow me at robin lane low and just thanks again for spending your time with me today i pray you have a great easter i pray god has favor over you and have a great week see you next thursday bye guys